Hello and welcome to the very first episode of the Minecraft Archive. We're going to begin our adventure here by creating a brand new world. I'm also playing on the hardest difficulty setting. And I say we because I, I want my viewers to be able to participate in this adventure. Uh, feel free to give me ideas on things you'd like me to do, uh, things you'd like me to build. Uh, just let me know. So I'm going to start off this series uh, a little differently than some of the other Luntz plays. Uh, my goal is actually going to be to get as far away from my starting point as possible uh, this first day. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to build a boat and I'm going to sail off in the distance. So to build a boat I'm going to need some logs to turn into wood which I can therefore make a crafting bench and of course the, the wood needed for the boat. So I'm just going to go over here and chop down this tree. If this happens to be uh, your first time seeing this game and you're interested in playing it, you can go to www.minecraft.net and it's about thirteen dollars to buy definitely definitely worth the price so I'm going to take these logs and I'm going to turn them into wood and draw my first crafting bench so I'll set this here and draw a boat or a very rough outline of a boat and also going to make some sticks and I'm really going to need some coal this first night uh, need to find some coal so that I can make torches because it will be getting dark here in about 10 minutes All right, so we've got a boat and we've got a pickaxe in case we come across some coal. I'm going to hop into my boat and ideally I would like to sail westward so that I can see the sunset in front of me and I, I know how long I have until it's going to be getting dark. It doesn't help that I'm moving in this boat. kind of hard to see which way the sun's rising. <clears throat> and it appears to be rising that way, so that way should be west. I believe this was uh, some sort of small bay. I don't know if I'll be able to get through here. Ah, oh, but there is some coal. Alright, where did where I see that coal at? There it is. Alright, just one piece, but that should be enough for my first night. So, since I want to head west, I'm going to need to get past the land here. Climb this small hill, and let's see what's on the other side. Ah, more water, just what we were looking for. I cannot walk in a straight line, that's for sure. Alright, anyways, uh, we will need to build another boat. Hopefully one of these days uh, you can punch your boat and pick it back up much like you can other things. So it appears that this... Oh, let me pick up my crafting bench. Uh, this will be my final boat because I'm out of wood. I really don't want to stay here too much longer and chop down trees. I'm stuck a little bit. There we go.
And off we go, sailing westward. Oh jeez, do not want to hit the pig with the boat. Actually, uh, hitting, hitting animals, monsters with a boat will make it break. Uh, same with running into a wall at a high rate of speed. Um, in a boat, we'll destroy it. So here we go. Looks like some open ocean over here. And it is about noon right now, so hopefully we have enough time to get fairly away from, uh, fa fairly far away from a spawn point. Uh, the whole idea behind that, uh, if you've ever played the hardcore mode in Diablo 2, you get one life. You die and your game's over. Um, I've already set this game on the hardest difficulty uh, to make it more of a challenge, but instead of just setting up shop right next to my start point and building a base there, uh, the goal is to get far away from the spawn point uh, so that there is even more of a penalty for dying. And, and yes, I could delete my world uh, if I die. Uh, we'll go ahead and figure that out. Uh, if, if I die in my second or, say, third episode, I'm I'm certainly not going to want to start all over. So we'll see what kind of penalty there is for me for, for dying, but uh, let's just hope I, I don't die much. All right. That appears to be the end of the water there. Oh. Screw it. <laughs> we'll just we'll just leave that boat there. Oh, now that's kind of neat. Hmm. Well, let me check out this island. I, I still have a decent amount of time, and I'm not quite as far away from my spawn point as I'd like to be. Yes, cow. Ooh, a mushroom. These things are kind of rare. Oh, I've never seen a, this many altogether. Sometimes I find mushrooms underground. No, not in real life, and in, in Minecraft. I've been playing this game probably about about six weeks or so now. Very, very addictive game. I've been watching uh, some of the other Let's Play video series, and they're they're great. Um, I really like C Nanners, of course, and uh, and X. Uh, both their series are very good. So, kind of inspired me to start my own series. And we've taken our journey on foot. My goal was to sail as far as I could west, but I don't think that's going to happen. But at least we have plenty of land here, continuing to head west. thing to check. Okay, I just want to make sure I had at least one stick so I could combine that with the coal and, and make at least one torch, or uh, that would make four torches. Uh, that way when I find myself a cave or build a small shelter, I at least have some lighting. Okay, looks like I may just have a few minutes until the sun is set all the way. I'll tell you what. I'm going to go ahead and swim over here to this island, and I think I'll call that island over there home. <clears throat> you can see the pigs swimming in the water up there. They're having a good time. This looks like a fun island. I believe these are called reeds. Um, they look like bamboo or something to me, but not sure. Not a hundred percent sure on what they're used for. I believe you can use them to make books, and then you can use the books to make a bookshelf, decorate your house. Never, never tried that. So here we're kind of in a wintry biome, and I'd like to get as far up here as possible. Get a view of what this land's like. Ah, oh, yeah. There's a nice flat area I could 
build something on. All right. Let's see if I can find a cave over here to crawl in and stay in during the night where I'm safe. And yes, there it is. It's getting dark. Got just a minute or two before it'll be pitch black. I don't know if you guys can see it. There are probably ten pumpkins on that hill over there. All right. I don't see any caves, so I'm going to have to make one of my own. So I'm just going to burrow into the side of this hill. Thankfully, I made a wood pick. Okay. It's probably getting pretty dark for you guys to see, so let me go ahead and make a torch. Alright, there we go. Uh, I wish I had enough wood to make a door, and I don't. And, of course, doesn't appear there's any trees close by, so uh, this is going to be home for the night, and I'm just going to kind of have to wall myself in here. Give me a little spot to look out of. And I'm pretty safe, except for if a skeleton came by, he could shoot me through there, so... Gonna dig a little this way. Alright. Well, I'm probably going to cut off my first video here. Um, fairly uneventful first episode, but um, I, I believe I made the point. I'm, I'm pretty far away from my spawn point, so it's going to be a pretty severe penalty uh, if I die. Playing on the hardest difficulty should give me a pretty good challenge. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and ride out the night here. Uh, probably start the second video once it's bright out. And I'm going to need to find uh, a cave or, or start digging underground because I'm going to need some good resources like iron or diamond. Um, but I appreciate you guys watching. Like I said, feel free to give me comments on anything you'd like me to see me do or build. And uh, see you guys soon. Thanks.